It's now time to complete Lesson 4, Chapter 3, Working with Columns. Please click Learn. And click Continue. Here we go. Number 1. With the Trade Show Brochure Draft document open, click the Layout tab, and in the Page Setup group, click Orientation, and then click Landscape. So we have the Trade Show Brochure Draft open, double checking at the top. I'm going to click on the Layout tab, find the Page Setup group, Orientation, and Landscape. At the top of the document, type What's coming up at Tolano? Question mark, and press enter. Remember, you can pause the video at any time so that you can complete these steps on your own screen. Three, click the layout tab, and in the page setup group, click columns. So if we're still on the layout tab, and here's the page setup group and columns. Click 2 for the number of columns. Notice how the document now shows the text in two columns, including the title, even though the cursor was at the beginning of the New Tour Offering heading. This is a good start to, to the newsletter, although you want the title to be above the columns of text. Select the entire title line. Oh, there we go. Now, this part seems to be a little glitchy. But if you have, um, if you click and drag okay, and release it, it, it kind of goes back and forth, but it is selected, don't, so don't worry if it's a glitchy. Um, once you selected the title, we're going to go back up to Columns and choose One. Okay, and you'll notice now it has the um, section break sign across here. So again, just click and drag like you normally would, even though you can't quite tell, and go to Columns One. The direction says, if necessary, delete the blank space between the headings, what's coming up at Tolano, and new tour offering. However, in my document here, there, there's no blank space for me to delete, so I'm going to ignore that. Mark is answered, and click Next. Select what's coming up at Tolano, and again, I'm going to select that, but it gets a little glitchy, so don't worry, and go to the Home tab, and in the Styles group, Click Heading 1 to apply this style to the title. So let's go to the Home tab. Here's the Style group. I don't see Heading 1, so I'm going to click the More button to pull it up. And there it is, Heading 1. On the Home tab, in the Font group, change the font size to be 18. And change the font size to 18. And press Control plus E to center the text. So on my keyboard, I'm going to press Control e and there it is in the center. Click the Layout tab, and in the Paragraph group, change the spacing before to 0 points and the spacing after to 12 points. Okay, so please go to the Layout tab again, and be very specific here. This first box says Before, okay, and the directions say to make that 0 points. So since it's set right now at 24, I'm going to press the down arrow slowly until I get to zero points. And below that is the after box. And the after setting in the direction panel says to make it 12 points. Since it's set at zero, I'm going to slowly click the up button until I get to 12. You'll notice that was only two clicks. Notice how the title now appears more in balance at the top of the newsletter with a visually appealing amount of white space between the heading and the columns of text. Mark as answered and click Next. Scroll through the pages of the newsletter to review how the text flows in this two-column format. Suppose you decide you want to have the newsletter fit on one page. You will now change the margins as well as increase the number of columns to three. So we'll start by clicking on the Layout tab, and in the Page Setup group, click Margins and click Narrow. So Layout tab, Page Setup group, Margins, Narrow. You'll notice that only the top margin seems to change on the screen. 
Remember that you changed the format in the document earlier. You can check this by using the Show Hide feature to see what was done in the document. Now, I accidentally left that on from before, so since the direction says to click on the Home tab and show the Show Hide, show hide paragraph mark, I'm actually going to click it twice, even though I already had it on. That way Jasper Active will register that I clicked that button. All right, mark as answered, and click Next. Click the Layout tab, and in the Page Setup group, click the Page Setup Dialog Box Launcher. Okay, we're going to click on the Layout tab again, and here's the Page Setup group. And this one is kind of hard to remember, but I think we're getting better. This little arrow pointing down and to the right is the Dialog Box Launcher. So click that little tiny arrow, please, and you have a box that comes up. Click the arrow for the Apply To field. You have to look towards the bottom of this box and find Apply To. It wants us to click the arrow here and change it to Whole Document. Okay. And then it says, if necessary, reset the margins to 0 0.5 each. And when I look at the top of my box, the margins are now cleared out. So I'm going to type 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And it's not necessary to type the 0 before the point, and it's not necessary to put the um, quotation marks. I just 0 0.5 is fine. Click OK. And step three says turn off the show hide paragraph mark feature. So if you remember, you've got to go back to the home tab and click the paragraph mark. Mark as answered and click next. Now we're going to change the number of columns from two to three. Click anywhere in the two column text. I'm just going to click over here onto the left. Click the layout tab and in the page setup group, we're going to click Columns and click 3 this time. So Layout tab, Page Setup Group, Columns, 3. There we go. Word automatically reflows the text. However, there are still some broken paragraphs in the newsletter, like this one. So click at the beginning of the heading that says Our Presentations. So it's in the middle of my page. I'm going to click right to the left of the O and hour. And please press the control key and the enter key at the same time. Again, on your keyboard, control and the enter key. Word has moved that column to the next page instead of the third column. So when you use control enter, it's a page break like we did on the other lesson. It moves that text to the next page. So on the Quick Access Toolbar, we're going to click the Undo button to bring that back. So on the Quick Access Toolbar, click Undo. And there it's back. Mark as answered and click Next. Now we're going to try a column break. So with your cursor in that same spot, this time you're going to press three keys at the same time. Control, Shift, and Enter. All three keys. So on my keyboard, I'm going to press Control, Shift, and Enter. And you'll notice that move the Our Presentations paragraph to the third column. You can also click the, click the column option from the breaks up here on the Layout tab. You can go to Breaks column. Mark has answered and click Next. With the cursor, anywhere in the column text, starting with New Tour Offering. Now this part is a little tricky because on the far left it says new tour offering, but Jasper Active actually wants you to look at the next one that says new tour offering towards the bottom of page number one. So click anywhere in that column text because I know this is the right one because it begins with new tour offering and ends with admission to the trade show. And here's admission to the trade show. So we're going to click inside that text anywhere. We're going to go click on Columns again, still in the Layout tab. And this time we're going to go to the bottom of the list and choose More Columns. A box will pop up. 
and we are going to click this little box that says line between. And that will display a vertical line between the columns and looks nice. And then please at column number one, we're going to change the spacing from 0 0.5. We're going to press the down arrow twice to 0 0.3 and click OK. Here we go. Mark as answered. Now you can see the nice lines there. Mark as answered and click show results. Click yes to continue. And great. You have now completed lesson four, chapter three.